Hey guys, it's Shay here again with another Alden series. We have Kelly Broughton here who's going to give us a description of alt, te alt textbooks workshop. Hi. Hey girl. <laughs> How are you? Good. Good. So what is your role here in Alden? I'm the Assistant Dean for Research and Education Services and uh, most of the public services operations and the subject librarians uh, work under my coordination. Awesome. So what exactly is the alt textbooks workshop? Well, this is the second year that uh, the libraries have sponsored a program that incentivizes faculty to redevelop or redesign their courses to incorporate cheaper materials for their students and to uh, get rid of the expensive textbook. So the workshop series this year has uh, six components to it. Um, faculty spend six hours in the workshops over the semester learning about copyright and incorporating multimedia and Creative Commons licensing, library content, and open education resources uh, into their courses in place of an expensive textbook. Awesome. So how would you say just in how is one of the, the workshops ran? Um, it's an active learning hour. We have like 35 or so faculty and their subject librarians in the classroom mm -hmm. with an expert presenter on whatever topic we're doing that week. Um, we do a little active learning, a little, uh, today we just finished a Creative Commons um, workshop where our subject librarian for the humanities, Brian McGeary, taught us about how to read Creative Commons licensing marks, how to apply them to our own work, and how we might want to use other people who have open resources using Creative Commons licenses. Awesome. So is it like hands-on? A little bit, like yeah, but it's pretty condensed. It's a lot of material in an hour with some, some workshop uh, yeah, group activities. Awesome. Where are they hosted? Here in Alden in 251. Awesome. So what would you say, what specific materials do you need in one of these workshops? Just your brain. <laughs> uh, we do use some laptops, so awesome. usually people have enough devices with them to, to cover some group projects. Awesome. And how would this benefit an average student here and benefit faculty? Well, uh, for faculty, it offers them some set-aside time and some support to um, redesign their courses mm -hmm. or relook at the course materials um, that they're assigning or requiring students to purchase. Um, so it, it, it forces them, right, to carve out time out of their calendar to think about this, and mm -hmm. then it provides some basic support to help them get through the process, as well as if they finish all six workshops and change the um, required content for the students and lower the price, they get a $250 incentive mm. at the end of the semester. For students, it uh, reduces the price of the books you need to buy for these courses. So last year when we did this, we had 29 participants, and I th think they looked at uh, 32 different classes between these 29 participants. And um, we spent $12,000 in incentives, and we saved students $230,000 in course material costs this year. That's awesome. Has any students came back later on and, you know, gave like a kind of a testimonial over the appreciated? Or? We don't have any testimonials from students right now, but we have faculty telling us about testimonials from students. So mm -hmm. we, did, we did have some faculty say that um, when she announced in her class that there would be no textbook that they had to purchase for this class, everybody clapped. So that's awesome. <laughs> How often um, do you have these series? Are they once a semester? We we did them in spring last year and spring this year. So we haven't quite decided what we'll do next year. And honestly, the truth is that if there's any faculty member out there who's interested in doing mm -hmm. this right now, they just need to get a hold of their librarian. Mm -hmm. Awesome. How do you get like? In, do you have to enroll into the to the series to for the, the incentive? Yes, mm -hmm. for the incentive program you do. But this type of support, the libraries um, and our partners in the Office of Instructional Innovation are here all the time to help the faculty do awesome. this. Is it free for students though? Oh, yeah. yeah, awesome. no, yeah. awesome. Um, well, if you guys have any questions for Kelly, you can write in our comments. You can come in and you can ask her one-on-one. Um, -on -one. And where, where is your office located? In the Faculty Commons, third floor of Alden, room 301C. Awesome. Well, thank you, guys. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you. And have a good day. Thanks.